something rather exciting has happened in the last couple of days, and that is that our fresh tank on the RV is empty. You might be wondering why that is exciting. Well, that means it's time to fill up the fresh tank on the RV, and for the first time, we're going to be able to do that powering it from our backboard and filling water from our well. So we have filled the RV from the well before, but using the generator, and then once again using power from the RV, but this will be the first time we have done it from the backboard. So let's go through that process now. I'm gonna get things set up. not a lot to this setup to be totally honest with you. I have plugged in the extension cord to the 20 amp GFCI receptacle on the backboard. The other end is connected into here. I've got the switch for the well pump here turned off and then connected to the, the faucet here I've got the, uh, the inline water filter and our possible drinking water hose. What I can do is I can actually open this other valve on here, that one there, and so that'll actually spray water out off that way and make sure that the well pump isn't pumping against a closed system. I'm gonna open up the valve on here. So we'll open up, it's really hard to do one-handed and backwards. Open up that faucet there. And then I can turn on the well pump. And with any luck, that will start running. So here we wait, there we go. So that delay is both because it's a soft start uh, well pump and also because the, um, the line drains back about 10 feet down, so I have to refill that line. I'm now going to open up this other valve, and then hopefully we should see water start to come out of this hose. I'm going to close up the other one to give it the full flow. So here now, and there we go. So that way we've got water coming out of the hose, so I'll just flush the hose for a few seconds. Then I'm going to switch those back around, open the other valve, close this one, go put the hose in the RV, and then we can start filling. So, close that one, open that one, close that one. Now I can take the hose round, bring it round to the RV here, and I'm just gonna pop that into there. Open that one, close that one. So now if we go back, we should find water coming out of the hose. And that way we've minimized the number of st uh, stop start cycles on the well pump. So in here, I can hear it running. There we go, we've got water in there. So that way, not only do we minimize the number of cycles on the well pump, uh, but we also reduce the time the well pump is pumping against a closed system just by opening the other valve. It has rained so much in the last week the ground here is completely saturated anyway. A little bit of extra water down here doesn't matter at all. So that is how we're going to be filling the RV tank for the next six months or so, for a year, until we've got that utility building built. It's a nice simple setup, no generator running anymore, I'm running it straight from the backboard, which is exactly the point. This is why we have this backboard here with not just the 30 amp outlet for the RV, uh, not just this one here for the RV, but also the 20 amp as well. All right, I can tell the fresh tank is just about full. That didn't take long at all, maybe 10, 15 minutes. It was slower than maybe I'd hoped given the, the output of the well pump, but I think that's just because the hose we're using is a fairly thin hose and it's 50 feet long. So there's a decent amount of, uh, of friction in there, but still 10, 15 minutes isn't too bad at all to fill our tank. To turn it off, what I'm gonna do is firstly close the valve on the hose there. So I can turn that, then I can turn the well pump off. And last, what I'm gonna do is open this valve over here. And what that'll do is allow any um, water in the, the drop pipe to actually drain out through that drain valve that we installed. So air is actually being pulled in through here. And when you first open that, actually, if you put your finger on the end, you can feel the vacuum as the, uh, the air is being pulled back through. That has now um, drained all the water out, so I can close that valve and then close the, uh, the faucet up here as well. So that is now all closed up. The well pump is off. I can now get the hose and the, uh, the power cord unplugged and put back away. That is the process to fill the RV tank.
Hold on.